Good evening, and welcome to Christ Church. This evening, I would like to introduce you, some of you at least, to someone you may not have heard of before. His name is Louis Slotkin, and he was a Canadian physicist who worked on the Manhattan Project. That was the project to develop the first atomic bomb in Los Alamos, New Mexico. And Slotkin was in charge of a team that's job was to decide just how much is enough when it came to uranium and plutonium for the purposes of creating fission weapons. Many of you will be familiar with the term critical mass, but a critical mass is that density of a radioactive element that will sustain a chain reaction on its own. And in the beginning, nobody knew for sure just how much you needed to make a bomb. And so they engaged in a process that it was colloquially called tickling the dragon, in which they would allow pieces of radioactive material to approach closer and closer to one another until the Geiger counters and other instruments measuring the reaction told them that they were approaching criticality. In uh, May of 1946, this is after the war was over, uh, Henry uh, Louis Slotkin was um, conducting this experiment and a burst of hard radiation that uh, occurred. The uh, fissile material got too close and the dragon woke up and he spent nine days suffering in a hospital before he died of acute radiation sickness. I bring Lewis to your attention not just because he is one of the many people who dared greatly, and believe me, he was a physicist. He knew that he was taking a terrible risk doing this. But also... The process of tickling the dragon is not limited to nuclear fission. We are engaging, I am afraid, in a process of tickling the dragon right now, and we are going to be engaged in it for the next nine days. Uh, on the 19th of June, the, there is going to be a rally led by the President of the United States in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Now, the fact that the President is leading a rally is not news. The, uh, the date may or may not have already brought something to mind. The 19th of June is often called Juneteenth, and it is a celebration of the publication of the Emancipation Proclamation, which reached Texas and at approximately that time. This was not when the slaves were freed, uh, or it was only when some of them found out about it, but it has become the day associated with the Emancipation Proclamation and the liberation of the enslaved Africans in America, in the South anyway. And so on Juneteenth, the president is going to be having a rally in Tulsa. Now, Tulsa is a, quite literally a heartland community in the center of the country. On Memorial Day weekend, 99 years ago in 1921, Tulsa was the scene of the largest uh, death toll in a race riot in the history of America, or at least in the documented history of America. The Tulsa Massacre, which is not f widely taught in schools, was unfortunately a classic story in which a young black man was accused or assumed to have assaulted a young white woman and the crowd gathered and shots were fired and then more shots were fired and uh, by at least several eyewitness accounts, pr 
private airplanes started to circle over the Greenwood District of Tulsa, which uh, was uh, then called Black Wall Street because it was a very prosperous African-American community, and to fire uh, rifles from the aircraft and drop firebombs on the community. It is undisputed that a huge swath of uh, the Greenwood District was burned to the ground and um, tens of people, uh, some would estimate hundreds of people, but tens of people certainly died in the rioting. The Tulsa massacre has been investigated by several commissions, um, a, most recently in 2015, and several of uh, those commissions have made recommendations for reparations and for uh, developments that might show that we are not the same people as we have been. The last uh, reparations bill was voted down in the, the state legislature, and two federal uh, reparations bills for Tulsa have died in committee in recent years. That's the fissile material. We have a mass of history in the Tulsa Race Massacre. We have another mass of history in Juneteenth. And we have another mass of history in the President of the United States. And they are all converging in Tulsa on Friday the 19th, a week from, uh, uh, seven, eight days from now. In between now and then, I am invoking you as warriors in prayer, because while this is a crux, a hinge of history, that has potential for um, disaster. Hinges of history bend both ways, and it also has a potential for great good. And whether the actual events of next week turn out to look like disaster, we have confidence through Holy Scripture that even disasters are used for God's glory and for our good. We do not know every time how something is the love of God. We have to speak by faith and say, it is the love of God. It's the love of God I won the lottery. It's the love of God I got a cancer diagnosis. I don't know how it's the love of God necessarily but I trust that it is. May the Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Good night.